someplace in my life, the roads had split off. I was no longer in the world that was my comfort zone. I was never going to be a part of that world. The problem is I could never go back completely to the world I came from. I wandered the streets by myself. I was six. You were hungry and didn't know when you'd eat. The note said, I like Martin Luther King. You open up the inside, and it just had the word dead. I would rather die on the highways of Alabama than make a butchery of my country. I prayed for guidance, but instead of comfort, I found only sorrow and confusion. He said that I was to leave his house, the only real home I'd ever known. Where could I go? What would I do? So you'd still like to serve on the Supreme Court? I'd rather die than withdraw from the process. I saw what I had become. I didn't even care about it. I didn't care about getting hurt. It was bad. We're supposed to be revolutionaries. I'm just angry, lashing out at every single thing. I had decided to vote for Ronald Reagan. It was a giant step for a black man. I will nominate Judge Clarence Thomas to serve as Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. That's when you know, all heck broke loose. Do to help you guys? I do. Judge Thomas began to use work situations to discuss sex. Not at all sure that Clarence Thomas is going to survive this. As a black American, as far as I'm concerned, it is a high-tech lynching. I mean, come on, we know what this is all about. This is the wrong black guy. He has to be destroyed. Just say it. <laughs>